Hey there, Gemini. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. If none of this resonates, try a different message. We're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot. Let's see what we get. For Gemini, please and thank you. For Gemini, please and thank you. Five of Swords, somebody willing to win at all costs, don't care who they hurt. Oh shit, with the Five of Pentacles. This is somebody, the bully is somebody who gets bullied. Let's see, oh boy. <clears throat> so five of swords five of pentacles and this fucker i feel like somebody just can't be trusted anymore and so nobody wants to deal with this person they don't call on this person and check on them Nobody um, asks what's new, how's it going, right? What's up, what's good, what's happening? Nobody, because this person has cried wolf too many times. And this person likely wanted a bunch of attention and got it. But at the expense of everyone around them to the point where they, it's like they just kept pushing people. And the people that they kept pushing away got sick and tired of being pushed away, so they just stopped coming around. And now there's nobody around, but it's because this person pushed everyone away. <clears throat> I don't really think that's you, Gemini. I think this is somebody you're dealing with, somebody around you, somebody possibly trying to reach out to you. Because that's not Gemini energy. None of this is Gemini energy. We have Aquarius, Taurus, and Capricorn on the table. I don't see your energy here, Gemini. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see what else we get. The Four of Wands and the Sun card. Now that feels like your energy. It's still not Gemini, but like, do you see the vast difference? I think somebody that didn't want you to win, to succeed, to have that big friend group, um, you're not the only one that doesn't mess with this person anymore, that doesn't have any kind of contact with this person anymore. You're not the only one that moved on, but you definitely dodged a bullet here is what I want to say, Gemini, because you are living life. You are happy. You are full of energy. It's almost like all the energy that they took from you, you're getting it back. And this person can't touch you. And they don't like that. They're miserable. They're so upset. How dare you be happy without me, right? I didn't say you could be happy. Well, it's not up to you. Like, whoever that is. Yeah, definitely somebody from your past here. Definitely somebody from your past. They could be younger than you, or they're just really, really immature. Like, they've got a lot of learning to do. Let's see. Five of cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is just miserable. They feel like they could have had their chance to be here to support you, to really be your friend. Then you could be out here having fun. You know what I mean? But, like, they didn't want to be a part of the fun. They wanted to ruin it for you. And now they're just sitting by themselves. This misery wanted company, and you didn't want to do that. Look, 555, five, five, that's a tower moment. Someone is experiencing the tower, and you're just sitting here like, oh, well, that sucks. Sucks to be you. For some of you, this could be your father, um, 
or father of your children, grandfather, uncle, I don't know, your ex-husband, your ex-boyfriend. It is a masculine energy being a king. So, I mean, I guess it could be a feminine, right? So it could be mother, grandma, ex-wife, that kind of shit. But somebody's definitely getting their karma here. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, back and forth, back and forth. See, they tip the scales. They tip the scales. They treated you and continue to treat you in a way you didn't deserve. They've got some karma to pay. They wanted to embarrass you. Did they really think they weren't going to get embarrassed too at some point in life? Come on. You keep pushing people and expecting them to come back around? That's insane. King of Swords. Yeah, you want real, honest, loyal, faithful people around. And whoever this is, they ain't, they, they can't do it. They do not have that quality. They don't have it. Yeah, seven of wands. So you're protecting yourself. Yeah, you blocked this person for good. They can learn their lesson, but you're done trying to help them. You're done trying to teach them. You're like, you're not going to learn this lesson on my accord anymore. Good. Because it shouldn't be at your expense. You don't want to talk about it. You've already moved on. You've already, like, whatever. This is some old shit for you. Yeah, Ace of Swords. This is some old news. But here they come with that communication. They Somebody wants to talk. Somebody wants to talk. And it's like they think they're going to unravel something for you. But you already know. You already know. You know exactly what this was. What they wanted. Who they were. And why they're coming back. What happened? You get lonely with your miserable grief? Nobody wanted to sit there and mope around with you? You already know this person coming back. That right there is telling you they fucked up somehow. Why are they coming back in? Did they learn the lesson? No. No, they didn't. They're still stuck in the past. They are stuck on the past. They want to be... What's it called again? Victim. They want to be a victim. Some people want to heal. Some people want to stay a victim. This person wants to stay a victim. And you want to heal. And now they see what healing is, but are they ready for it? No. <clears throat> They're not. They're going to tell you it's fated. It's destined that I reach out. And I, I knew now was a good time to reach out to you. And you're thinking, um, what do you mean you knew now is a good time? It's not. It's not. I don't want you reaching out to me. <laughs> uh, and again, here they come, trying to be manipulative. Manipulative. Ooh, I couldn't even say that right. But it's because what they're saying ain't right. You know what I mean? Like, the signs are everywhere. You know. You're very well aware. You're very, very woke here. Like, you are paying attention. They're not going to slip one past you. They're not going to get over on you. You're not giving them any kind of space or time or energy to do that. So I would continue to keep this person at a distance, you know. And if you're the one that's going back and forth about closing the door with this person, I think it's pretty clear. I think it's pretty obvious what the divine is asking you to do here. They keep pushing you. Stop going around and letting them push you around. Just know that, you know, there's a chance they might try reaching back out. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You can forgive them if you want, but you don't have to let them back into your life. And honestly, you can find that forgiveness all on your own. You don't need them to do that. So whatever this person did, it was absolutely dirty. It was wrong. And it was selfish. And by not letting this person come back around, you're going to dodge a bullet. This person is like chaos. Chaos just, it follows them everywhere they go. It's consumed by, consumed by chaos. Goodness gravy. So we've got Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo on the board. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. 
Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.